So let me again check the audio first because this is the thing that burns me again and again. Let me just check if the audio let me is just check if the audio let me is just okay. Echoing Echoing I think we are over that. Echoing I think we are over that. Okay. So now we have got good audio. Okay, it's good enough. Let's just go over. This will be a very short video. So basically what we have here is in the game right now we have Okay, in the video we have, uh, sorry, in the game we have this spaceship and this runs okay given keystrokes and with the right key pressed it throws text missiles okay now we want an actual missile okay we want an actual missile okay so instead of this fireball thing we'll just have missile okay we'll have a missile image so let's go over to this directory and we have let's I so in this directory I just took this picture so if I zoom it enough you can see there are like a bunch of missiles in the sprite package that I just downloaded okay so I'm going to take this missile one of them okay I'm just gonna take this last one and I'm not adding any effects or anything like that so this is what I'm going to take this is a simple enough missile just some pixels around nothing else I just cropped it and rotated it and I can see that here okay so I'm just gonna cut this from my download folder and then I'm just gonna paste it in my coding folder here where we are programming our game and I'm storing the sprites here okay so let's rename this to something short so that it uh, looks okay when written inside uh, inside our code source code file let's just name this missile okay so missile.png simple enough so here what we were doing before so this is our missile right so when we were getting a Z key press so this is our Z key press right here so we were sending it uh, you know we were sending it uh, a missile okay so here we'll just change a line from this so let me also write this nicely X Y then we're not going to be using text we will render something okay so we'll experiment with this w and h okay so basically x is um so we will experiment this with this value okay so basically we were dropping our missiles see here we have I'm pressing Z so we are dropping our missiles from somewhere near or, or the same position so basically X position is the same as uh, you know the uh, you know the spaceship position okay so instead of doing that to make it look more realistic we will do this so what we are doing is so where the f uh, you know the spaceship is we are adding that uh, to we are adding to that the width of the spaceship okay so we may need to experiment with it more than once but that's okay that's l part of developing a game or any program really so something you just need to check and check and check and then uh, finally uh, you know incorporate the change that looks the best okay this is a matter of eyes this is more art than science so this is arcs.state.player.x 
plus args dot state dot player dot w minus 12 okay so this is the value that we are going to experiment with whether that is good or not okay y x dot player dot y plus 10 we are also going to experiment with that so then we have two new things uh, w and height okay width and height so width they are 32 by 32 but we'll do something different okay because uh, for a fireball this sprite the sprite is just a simple fireball this is the, you can ex imagine a nice little square around it so it's like closer to a square but uh, our thing would be closer to a rectangle so we'll do something different okay so here we are then instead of the text we are going to give it a path okay this is the path what is our path of the missile let's check so it's inside the my game my game directory and then sprite subdirectory and this is just on top of this okay so this is our uh, let's say missile so we're going to copy our relative path so for copying the relative path we have copied it and let's just paste it okay so this is it so this is the change that we need to see and uh, is there any change on our loop there marks dot state i don't think there are any changes in this loop missile dot x plus arc state okay we have more speed for missiles out there and nothing else but there is a change in the last line where our sprites get rendered okay so here we are so we are basically uh, treating the text differently it's under labels when we need to render text we probably put it under labels but this is not a text anymore this it's an image okay we're going to cut this line okay totally delete that line and instead we're going to pass it a uh, uh, you know a list an array of uh, what we have args dot state dot missiles okay let's see what we have okay we are shooting missiles we are shooting missiles wow so this is a great progress so we are just so shooting missiles and it looks somewhat uh, you know somewhat uh, fake because uh, if you look at it carefully so we you are seeing that uh, you know the missile is coming from this region okay this region okay we need it to be closer to the uh, spaceship because it is coming from the spaceship okay so just like I told you that you need to experiment with this so let's let's uh, let's uh, reduce this do uh, you say eight now yeah so it is more uh you know from from it's it's more towards the left let's let's eliminate this number completely let's see how it does okay so it's still not very satisfactory so we are just uh, doing it from player at y let's let's uh, negative let's this uh, you know sub subtract things so it has gone more down okay so is this going okay are the changes that we are making are they getting updated into the game so let's restart this game okay restarted yeah not very ideal right because so we are dealing with raw pixels here let's just just you know do 50 okay let's just see the way it goes so it goes down so to make it go to top okay this is just nothing and then let's to make it go to top we need to add just like it were before let's do 20 okay let's do 20 yeah this is more like it 
so um, we have done 20 let's do five more or ten more okay so I need the missile to come from the nose oh that's we have overshoot let's do 25 uh, yeah kind of good uh, let's do 28 yeah we're getting there so let's let's do 23 yeah this is more like it this is more we are nearer okay 22 this is better okay almost coming through the nose and now we need to also mess with these the x value let's do 120 and just let's see the way it goes okay so it goes back it goes back so let's reduce that so we had 12 so we need to increase it of course not to the range of 120 let's do 60 it's like binary search <laughs> so in your mind okay this is more more realistic because you can catch a glimpse you can catch a glimpse of this let's just stop this all and give it a speed of five so that we can you know uh, look at it you know this looks more realistic it's it's coming from almost the belly of the airplane okay when we are doing it fast it doesn't matter that much that is coming from the belly of the plane I also need to think about reducing the speed because they're going way too fast yeah yeah this is good enough good enough for us okay is that good enough for you so this is what I wanted to cover in this video not more but I'll take this opportunity to just put in some comments because we are defining this uh, arc uh, tick method this is the whole game okay so uh, whole game so far okay so we are uh, so we need to when you need to make changes and come back to things we will need to uh, know beforehand like which part of the code that we are going to and where are we going to make our changes so this is uh, where I would like to uh, make this change I hope uh, my voice and everything is getting through yes or I'll have to you know redo this that's really painful so anyway this is uh, our spaceship right this is our missiles this is input handling this is basically navigation left right up down everything and uh, yeah that's it so this is uh, you know ensuring the boundary uh, ensuring the boundary yeah this is it so this is what the you know the function of this program is uh, th this for this this four things okay this is you know firing missiles okay that's cool uh, so this is part missiles this is uh, you know so this is basically uh, not firing missiles this is the part about uh, about missiles you know more broader sense this is the definition of the missile uh, the speed and everything and uh, this is uh, handling how fast that moves and then outputting sprites okay this is basically rendering okay so when we look back at our code let me go full screen so when we look look back at our code this this is really nice this is basically spaceship okay this is navigation and this is uh, ensuring the boundary this is uh, missiles this is uh, rendering this is you know on the code into neat parts neat different parts of the game okay so whenever you make some changes we can just come to the appropriate section that is denoted by our comment head and then you can just come and make those changes right so this is cool and fun this is this is a short video and i intended it this way so let's just go back okay so goodbye i will see you in the next video bye
ओके दैट बाय